Hey everyone, Renee from imore.com here. I am on the road at a coffee shop trying to get some real world results for the new LTE and HSPA Plus radio on the new iPad. I'm going to use the speedtest.net app and first I am trying it on LTE. This is Rogers LTE. I'm getting two bars. Uh, it's not the best signal, but we'll see what we get. So uh, there it goes. We're off to the races. I have gotten as high as 49 megabits per second, both on a rocket stick and on this iPad, uh, probably when I was alone on the tower. Now it's 29.73 up and 10.11 down. I'm going to run it twice more just to make sure I'm getting consistent uh, results. Now I'm going to turn the LTE radio off and go back to what Rogers calls 3G, AT&T calls 4G, and I'm going to refer to as HSPA uh, just so there's no confusion. It's actually HSPA Plus, and the new iPad has a much better, much faster HSPA Plus radio in it than the iPad 2. I used to get around 5, you know, maybe a maximum of 8 on the old iPad. Let's see what this one does. And wow, we've blown right past 8, and we're at about 16.14 megabits per second down, and the up is uh, not so great. About, let's see, 79, seven, sorry, 0.79 megabits per second. So the, the down is competitive, but the up is nowhere near as good. Again, I'm going to run it twice more, three times total, just to make sure. Now we're going to turn back to LTE. Now the LTE to 3G, the LTE to HSPA was very, very smooth. But I'm finding that I can't get back on LTE. I don't know if it's because I have way more bars of 3G than LTE. But I once I switch off LTE, I cannot get back. Not if I go to airplane mode, not if I toggle the radio. I either have to wait for quite a while or I have to simply reboot. So I'm going to do that now. So now I'm going to put it through more of a real world use case. We're going to watch the Avengers trailer in 1080p right now on Rogers LTE. And it's starting almost immediately. And if we look at the indicator, it is uh, well ahead of the play bar and it looks like it is accelerating. I'm going to keep tapping just to make sure that we can keep seeing the indicator bar. And yeah, it's it's growing at a fast clip. I don't anticipate any problems with watching the entire movie, sorry, the entire trailer without any interruptions. And also, it looks fracking amazing, 1080p native on an iPad, just saying. Yep, the entire thing through, no problem. I got about midway through the clip before all of it loaded, but that is a fairly impressive speed. And now the same trailer streaming over HS. Plus. Now, Apple might well serve lower resolution to a slower connection, alter the bitrate. So I don't know if this is exactly a fair comparison, but I can tell that it is not keeping up. It's frozen already uh, after just a few seconds, and now it's inching its way forward. And if you remember from the test, this was 15 megabits per second versus 30 megabits per second for the LTE. So the quality of video is um, too high for it to play without interruption. Uh, and that's the result that matters in a real world use case. So that was LTE versus HSPA Plus on the new iPad. And I am Renee from iMore.com.